Hey guys, this is Becca. I am back for my week 67 check-in. This week I continued working on learning oil paint and also doing the Proco studies that I began last week. So I did two paintings this week uh, from a live model. The first one was hilariously bad. The second one was actually a lot better. So I felt like I was kind of like, you know, gears starting to turn, kind of starting to figure out how to you know, make the correct kind of edges and blur edges and have hard edges and just better understanding how the paint works. Cause I'm still very much in the uh, very steep part of the learning curve with painting. So slowly but surely still baby steps at this point. For the Proko studies, I worked the entire week I spent studying the bean. And I am not even joking. This is gonna sound ridiculous, but I swear the bean changed my life. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but do not underestimate this study because when I first watched the video, I was like, oh, this will be great. Nice, casual, fun week of study. No, of course not. It never is. It never is. So I spent the whole week just struggling with this and I would copy from the drawing. It would be totally wrong. I, it looked wrong every time. And then I would see stands and I couldn't really understand why why he was making the decisions that he was making. So I just worked on it and worked on it all week. And I made one of these little um, kind of mannequin dolls with the tennis ball to show how things bend and how it would actually work in real life um, if it were a torso and a pelvis. So this was really helpful. I just drew on it with a piece of, with a white out marker. And eventually I just had this like aha moment and I understood it and it was so helpful. I just feel like it explained a lot of stuff that I wasn't understanding about twists, specifically twists and foreshortening and when lines overlap. It's very basic perspective, but if you haven't studied it or you don't understand it, it seems totally like mystical and confusing. So if you're working on it and you're doing the Proco classes and you're thinking, wow, this is like making no sense, just stick with it. And I would also suggest jumping ahead and watching the Robo Bean video because he has a really good explanation of the twist in there that I think really helped me understand it better. And also watch the critiques on his YouTube channel, which are not um, in the video section on the site. So that helped me a lot in some of the areas where I was kind of fuzzy on. But yeah, tons of bean drawings, really, really helpful. Um, filled in some gaps that I had. So I was really, although it was a little frustrating, I was really glad by the end of the week that I had spent the time because once you get it, it will just like change everything. It will change everything. Um, so that's all the study for this week. As you can see, I kind of changed up my studio setting because I'm going to be painting from home. So I had to move everything around and my dog bed's back there. So she might be making some appearances, but that was the only place I could fit it because now I have my whole studio, which used to be an office, is now like 75% art stuff. 25% dog stuff. And then like, I guess I do my work somewhere in here. I don't know, wherever I can find space. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. Onto the drawings.